Hello, it's Sarah, and I have a project share, and with a tutorial to follow, I have been paper crafting, and it's been fun. I got a request from one of you guys for to do a mini album Altoid tin. I had shared a long time ago, I should have looked it up, but I did a share on... Um, some Altoid Tin mini albums, but I sold them, so I didn't have them anymore. But I will put in the description box there is a tutorial that I, the one that I used to do mine, was with Mary. She is from Cards TV. Um, I wrote it down here somewhere. Hold, anyway, the the it's called So Many Mini Albums Blog Hop. And she does a little mini inside an Altoid tin. And it's not Cards TV. Her, her YouTube channel is something different. But I will, uh, I'll put it in the description box. And so I used that to create a little mini album. So this is, the, this is actually this Altoid tin. This is the winter green and this is peppermint. And I think the red one would be great for Christmassy uh, colors, um, Christmassy albums and then this this I thought it's it's kind of my go-to anyway that teal color I don't know if it's teal or aqua um, but I used it in the design of this little mini album and you just take a little there's six pages in here and that's how Mary did hers so I'm gonna show you in the tutorial that I do a, a bigger one this is about five and a, and a half by three and a half and I got these at specialty bottle and I had done them because I did these little uh, I guess they're assemblage and I followed a blog uh, by uh, Lori Moore I think and she was selling these in kits and everything but I just bought a couple and I had one left so I decided to try the little mini album in this tin and I love it. So this is what I did the tutorial on. Um, I changed the measurements. Listen, I go through it first time out of the gate. So I never did it before. So I made a couple mistakes. So just watch it through first and write down the measurements and then come back and um, make yourself a little mini album. I didn't embellish the, the mini album at all. I figure if I put pictures in here, it'll get stuffed enough. I thought about adding things to the cover, but chose a piece of paper that ha you know, has a sentiment, wishing you a happy Halloween. And then in the back it says, All Hallows Eve. And then I used steampunk spells. And those of you who have been paper crafting, you know about Graphic 45. And Graphic 45 was one of the very first paper stack uh, companies that I just had to have and it was a very coveted thing um, because they they uh, they discontinue them so this one is from 2013 I have the 8 by 8 and the 12 by 12 paper stacks and I mean I still had plenty left and I keep all my scraps because when you fussy cut things out or use bits and pieces of it, you can, you know, you can actually make these just using the paper line. And I've done projects just using cards and um, actually uh, my ATCs. Oh my gosh. So anyway, I'll just show you what I did. The tutorial, I take you through how to make the mini. And then I, t I tell you I'll be back to share um, the front. So this is the front. All I did was I covered the back with paper, but I decided to use a Sharpie. This is just a permanent, it's like the thick chisel tip Sharpie. I think you get it at the dollar store. Because, see what Lori did on hers is use alcohol ink to distress or alter the tin. Because they come in this silver color. This is, this is one that I got, that's the Altoid tin sh uh, shape and size. Um, but I just ordered three more of these, and these have a clear plastic cover. And the only thing is, you can see 
everything that I've glued onto it from the back. So I was thinking I might take a piece of lace, like black lace, and just put it, but I actually don't mind. I really like that you can see through to the cover of the mini album in through the window. So I'll come down and show you. I was so excited because I found these Prima flowers and they were just the right color for this paper stack. It's like a because it's a Halloween steampunk, there's like a, it's a orange and reddish, like a, I don't know if that's, it's not red, it's more of like a, a burnt orange or something. So I kind of created these flowers with these Prima flowers, and I just used brads to hold them together. I used the, the screw looking brad, and then this is, just, you know, that's a, one kind of screwdriver, and that's the other, and a couple of, uh, different metal pieces then I also cut out pieces from the paper line so this is like a little a gauge of some type and I put a little wing on a brad and stuck it through the middle um, some of these are um, these metal pieces and I you guys I pull everything I have I didn't buy anything to make this I am going to use what I have and um, so that's I can't remember where I got everything it's just over time I get a lot of it on clearance and um, you know just keep it and then when I need it it's there when I need it um, so I fussy cut out this girl the girl from the cover of the, the steampunk spells and put a little clock down here and that's a piece of the paper too, a piece of paper from the uh, stack and I glued it underneath and put a little glossy accents on it and just a couple more gears I use um you know, stickles and different things to embellish, but pretty much that's it. I just let the paper do the talking. I put a little piece of ribbon, gold ribbon, around the edges, and I think it turned out so cool. And it's actually a nice size for a mini album. So you could put a nice size picture in here of all your kids' Halloween, uh, you know, through the years. So that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do with it for Maya. And then the little one I did, I just, again, I used, I was real, I'm really in steampunk mode because I'm going to be doing the art doll. She's coming, don't worry. I want to keep painting. I'm going to keep painting this month because I think it is, uh, October is decorative painting month, I think. I'm not sure. Um, but I just cut a piece out from the steampunk spells again and I put her on there. I forget, oh, she's Madame Macabre. Just a few more gears, some more of those flowers, and then put ball chain around her. Some more ribbon, a different kind of ribbon, just gold. And then inside you have a little mini. Now this is a tiny little mini. I don't even think these pages are two inches wide. I put a little uh, sentiment when black cats prowl and pumpkins gleam, may luck be yours this Halloween. And ha wishing you a happy Halloween. And just put it back in there. And I just put steampunk spells on the front because you don't see through this one to see the top. And just covered it with paper. These actually really work up quick. Once you know the theme you're going for, um, I think Mary uses her Cricut and just puts a sentiment on top with a couple of little Cricut shapes, a Christmas tree and something else. And then, you know, you're done. So I really love them. So I'm going to post the tutorial. Like I said, get, watch it first and see because I make mistakes as I'm figuring out what size to make it. But this is how it turned out. This is the finished mini. And it was fun. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.